going to have to record these things. Okay? So if you, you know, just for the other students and all that, if you don't want to be seen, then just put yourself on face for out. But it's okay. It's, you know, it's no biggie, I think. Um, uh, so to have, what did you think? Did you look through it? I love it. I love the whole, like, everything. It's so much more engaging than just having it all, like, on a computer. Or on a textbook, right? Yeah. <laughs> I know. I can't wait I know. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm working with, with a big old textbook now that's usually used for this class. Like, new, you pay, you know, 300 bucks for the damn thing. And 90, you know, so much you don't even need out of it. Yeah. And it's so much reading. I fall asleep every time. Yeah, it is. And so I really, I love it a lot. Um, my parents were even, they were like, oh my goodness, that's so cool. Like, oh, so good. much better. Yeah, I, 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 I don't come from the theoretical professor world. Yeah. And so it's like, if it ain't down to the earth, I can't handle it. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Good. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's Hannah. Hi, Hannah. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Have you received your material yet? Yes. Have you looked at it yet? Yeah, I've been going through it. What do you think? It's good. It's very comprehensive. Okay. If uh, any confusion at this point or not so much? No, not yet. Okay, good. Good. What's the weather like out there? It's a little chilly today too for you guys? I think it's a bit windy. Can't really tell. I know. I oh, you've been inside mostly, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I bet. Yeah, I know. I had to fix my car, and they said it's going to take an hour. So I was sitting there at the shop for three hours. I'm like, really? <laughs> <laughs> and so that was my main morning. So I've been. That's where I've done all your work, Crystal, with your the emails and all that stuff back and forth. It's amazing what you can do with the phones these days. I know, right? Well, you know, hey, there's four of us so far, so we'll just start with it. I don't think we're going to fill up the whole two hours at this point. Um, let me, Crystal, you haven't received it yet. So let me ship you one thing over real quick on text. Okay. Hold on. I got to do that real fast. That way, at least you see the first uh, lesson, the way it's, it's organized on paper. I mean, it's basically all, you know, it's the PowerPoint based stuff. Um, Hold on, let me see. What, what's your, give me your at, email again so I can find it here. It's crystal.raboni at campus.mccd.edu. Oh, wait. Yeah, let me actually email it to you and I'll text it to you. Hold on. Real quick. And then we are good. I just ship you the link and then you can look that up. And then we can do the other links afterwards. You just say that for a moment so we get started. So you should receive that. Well, okay, so well, welcome the class we have here. I wanna go through a few things just to get started um, with, the, with, with the program, um, the course. I wanna first go through the material in the booklet a little bit and then explain to you. So when you open your booklets, you get a few things. The first thing you get on top is this. And this is a, a study effectively learning tool thing. And I, 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 it's, I've been a little, I feel, I've been feeling a little goofy about putting it on, but it's been very helpful. It's a flashcard system of how we study organize in an organized fashion. So I want to make sure you read that and shoot me as many questions as you can over it. Um, I, let me also share the screen with you, and then I can show you where that is, especially Crystal, since you don't have the paper yet. Um, I can you guys see my canvas? Yes. Good. So uh, when you get to the, here is the introduction stuff. You just read what, you know, I'm, I'm doing it, that we have Zoom going on. And that's actually the link right there. And then, and then these two videos you probably watched. If not, there's not that much because I'm going through it again. Um, and then after that, you want to read the syllabus. Um, and so over here, the syllabus is here, right here. And then after that, in the, in the, in the canvas, you get a bunch of modules. The modules are like chapters. Um, I'm not sure. Oh, look, there's somebody else coming. Yay. Um, modules are like chapters. And so the stuff that I'm, study tool stuff that I'm talking about is, see here, student orientation. You have orient, no, wait a minute. Not all of these are 
published. So the green stuff is, it's, it's my view, not your view. But under that tab, you have study tips, study tools, and then links. And under study tips and study tools is basically uh, what's, what's on that little card, essentially, is what's in there. Um, and 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 what I do with that, um, with that, and, and so read through it, watch the video. Um, what I basically do is when I study this material, there is two main things to deal with. There's one thing is you have to understand material, and then there's another thing where you have to sort of regurgitate terms, because all these things have terminologies, and you need to sort of learn what that means. Hold on, real quick, and. Um, what I, what I did, and, and I, I worked my way through chiropractic school with this system. So what, what I did, or what I think is very useful to do is you understand the material. And if you don't, make sure you reach out to me. Make sure you don't just question yourself over and over. Just shoot me a text and we can talk offline. That's very simple. And I have my phone with me most of the time. If I go to bed early, I don't take my phone. You can text me whenever you want. I might just not get back to you if I'm asleep. Um, so don't hesitate about that. I think that's very important. Um, and then number two, when you understand it, I take flashcards. I like four by six flashcards personally, but three by five work fine. And then I write on one side, I write what I want to know. And on the other side, I kind of write myself a question. Um, and then I have one piece of information on one finite one finite amount of information on one car and it's not like on a whole moped where i have a lot of things and when i read through it half the stuff i know half the stuff i don't know and before i know it i'm falling asleep because i'm zoning out or i'm you know spacing out um and what i then do after that and that's described in here i take four clips like these kind of clips and i have in there on the side a little description of clip one through four, and you can cut that out and paste it on the clip. And so what I then do is I take the cards that I created that day or the previous day and put them in my pocket as I go through the day. And if I have a moment, instead of reading a magazine at the superstore supermarket, I look at a couple of, 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 of those flashcards and I try to memorize them. Um, and then in the evening when I come home, I test myself and figure out which ones do I know, which ones do I don't know. And whatever I know, I put on clip number one. And number one is a, is a clip that I have things behind that I ask myself daily about. And so then on that clip is the stuff that I already knew the first day. And then the next day, so I put that to the side. And then the next evening, I'll take that clip out and I question myself, do I know these cards? And if I know them, I go to clip number two. And I put them on clip number two or box number two, whatever you want. You, you put them in a place that that's designated for that. And that those questions, those cards on that clip, I ask myself twice a week about. And so two days later, I'll pick it up. If I still remember it, a lot of stuff we will remember. Then it goes to clip number three. If I forget it at that point, I have to put it back to clip number one and remind myself every day. And so that way, what you do, and then clip number three, I ask myself once a week, and then clip number four is the one that I do go through these questions twice before the test uh, or something like that. But that way, you don't study stuff that you already know. So you spend a little bit of time working through the material by making a flashcard, but then after that, you just, whatever you already know, you move forward through the system fast, and whatever you don't know goes back into the place where you... Uh, where you study or where you question, you know, study it again and ask yourself and spend more time looking at that. And so that has been, that's known as the Leitner system. That's some German psychologists from the 70s uh, that figured that out uh, in terms of an effective study. And I was first introduced in high school when I had to study French like a maniac. I'm from Switzerland and we have to study a lot of foreign languages and it worked really well for that. And so I always go through it uh, because a lot, some students pick it up and, and, and like it. If you already have your own method, don't worry about it. Go with what works for you. I just want to, um, um, you know, open some doors for some of you uh, for that. Does that make sense? Oh, good. I got to ask. Hey, hi, Manuel. I got you on the list. I do take role for these classes. 
uh, at the beginning and at the end, but it's not mandatory. So if you can't make it, he's not gonna, you're not going to get dinged for it. But let's say you're on the fence uh, from a B to an A and I'm like, or you complain how difficult everything is and I can go back and say like, well, yeah, maybe you should come to Zoom once in a while. That might help. So I, you know, I have that bad data in the background. So if you can't make it, don't be, don't, don't drive too fast to make it to a class or so. Be, follow the speed limit. <laughs> If you can't make it, that's okay. I record the sessions and put them back on. I put them on. Um, I probably text them over to you the next day on a, on a YouTube video. Uh, and you can review it that way if you want. And again, I'm always trying to be available for you uh, if questions come up. I hate, when I went to school, I hated having to think, having to question what a teacher wants from me and spending, wasting time on that. So when that comes up, just shoot me a text and we'll clear it up right away. Uh, and, um, and then you don't have to worry about it. Okay, that's probably a good place where we just go through the syllabus if there is no questions. Um, if there is any questions, I just interrupt me. That way, you know, it's not like I ask you questions and nothing comes back because nobody has a question and then there's a silence thing. So just interrupt me. Uh, you don't have to hold up a hand because I might not see it because I'm trying to work my screen and um, whoa, what the heck did I do right now? Hold on. I put a whiteboard on. So I'm actually trying to share my screen again from my Google Chrome. Let's see. There it is. You can see my um, canvas again, right? I assume so. Yeah, I know. I don't have your visuals up, so it's hard for me to see. Um, we're still on the student orientation. Before we go to the syllabus, I want to alert you to this link, the anatomy link. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on, hold on. Who would that be? Somebody want to FaceTime me. Bad idea right now. First couple of times, some people are trying to get on and can't find it. So I got to make sure I pay a little bit of attention to it, to all of that. Um, but under the student orientation resource and support, the last link is a very interesting link, I feel. Um, I was able to have some PDF copies of some atlases. Anatomy atlases are basically your picture book. So let me see if I have one up, actually. No, I got to pull it up. My computer crashed earlier, so half the stuff is not quite up. So hold on. Ah. Are you still seeing my, you're still seeing my canvas, right? Yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click here. That way you can see what I do. And look what comes down. A whole big fat book, 790 pages of an atlas and an anatomy atlas is essentially a picture book. If you scroll through, this is the guy who wrote all of this. This is a picture book, an anatomy picture book that is usually found in the medical doctor's offices. So this is pretty cool, sophisticated stuff. So you have a lot of, a lot of detail on this. Let's go through some, this is beginning, beginning. Come on, give me some pictures. Da, 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 da. See, there's a lot of different pictures. Okay, there we go. So we have some pictures here already. So look at the skull, maybe. Where are we? Come on, give me a skull. Well, look, look, at, look at all the details that you can see already and all the different labels that you get. This is about the nerves and the vascularity. And look at this. We're going to go through the skull and we're going to have a bunch of those terms that we learn, but we're not going to learn all of them. And so an atlas is a really good resource and, and refer, reference um, that you can use to go go and look things up and this pdf you can basically is an electronic format of course but you can you can um you can you can have it on your laptop or on your ipad or even iphone or whatever you want other phone type things and have it handy for all your studies depending on how far you go with this stuff so I think this is very valuable and I have a couple of them. That's the first one. The Frank Netter is an American textbook. Then I have one that's from Germany. I'm German, so I like the German stuff too. Uh, the visualization is a little bit more, sometimes more detailed, uh, like muscles are nicely depicted. 
but you know it's the same information so don't worry about way you know being too crazy about detail uh you don't have to look through all of them you don't have to look through any of them if you're not interested but i just want to point them out to you and then uh the, the cadaver atlas is also interesting because this is cadavers that then are labeled so that's also really cool that's actually one of my favorites right here if you can handle cadaver stuff of course that's the thing and then down here is just a couple of textbooks the martini book is one that's used for this class sometimes but it's way way overwhelming as far as i feel all right so that's a good place to have these links and then from there we go into the syllabus and uh, if you have received your uh, packages yet then you have the syllabus in there as a piece of paper if not you can also print it here if you want but basically what it talks about it talks about that this class teaches you about your body that we want to learn about all the system that we have the booklets that we have some zoom um, that you can always text me whenever you want and then we get to the kahuna stuff the assignment and grading and that's the important stuff again questions show up um interrupt me don't have to wait just speak up um assignments when i look at my the way i organize the class for the most part is you're watching videos and then you're going through quizzes and the quizzes are quizzes, but they're kind of a study guide, a study guide too, because you can repeat them. You don't have to take them once and be done with it. You can use them uh, as a as a as a separate way of studying for the whole thing. Um, and then the highest grade, the highest score counts. It's not an average of the score that counts. So you can totally blow it and then go back and study and then go do it again, and it's just fine. So it's actually quite busy work, and I think that's probably the Kahuna. Uh, the majority of, of the learning is through the quizzes. And so you listen to videos, you got the picture booklets with very little text, and then you got these quizzes that you go through. Let me do one, then you get an idea. Um, let me do on that. Like module one introduction. I actually put the videos down here too this time. Uh, and then this is a quiz for number one. And it's basically a bunch of text. And then you give me answers here. And this basically walks you again through the booklet, through the material, where I write some stuff down. And then at the end, I ask you a question about it. Um, and, and some of them have more than one answer so make sure you pay attention to that but then when you're done with it you see the answers once and then you can go back and, and retake it as many times as you want and i think that way yes i will get a bad score um and then that way you're working the material so to speak um if you're very lazy i shouldn't show you that but what i did even I recorded classes that I discussed the quiz questions and I put the videos of that under FYI. So when you go in here, you could actually, so it's always on the next module under FYI. The first thing is, is a video that solves the quiz basically. Uh, of course, it's a whole hour video. So, you know, by the time you watch that video, you probably learn a lot doing that. So that's partly why I did that. Um, but of course, I urge you to do it out of your uh, own own good and memory and looking up things, especially since you can retake them over and over. So that's that. Let's go back to the syllabus. And then I also have, um, we also have other um, things we do. We do labeling and coloring exercises in many chapters. So I, I, I give you, if you actually open your book, if you have your booklet, there is your material, I should say. There is a package that says labeling and co coloring exercises. And in there, and sorry, Crystal, I know you're gonna, you're gonna get it soon. And um, in there, you have term lists like that. And those are for the part two and part three of the class. Um, but you do have one exercise that is in the first module as well and i'll go through that one so especially part two and part three of the class when we talk much more about anatomy terminology than in the first section that's kind of the introduction section 
there we have a lot of these labeling exercises and i also wanted to color those um uh, lab sheets these exercise homework sheets that i've uh, given you um and that way you spend some time with the terminology and hopefully it goes into our noggin a little easier so that's what that is about um the first couple of the first three four chapters or four modules also have um questions that are called integration questions, concept discussion questions. And so in there, I ask you a few questions and I need you, I want you to type out your answers. So, so that's a little bit more elaborate that way. Um, let me show you. Here, no, no, here we go. Come on. Nope, we'll get to that next. There we go. Hello, that should be open. There it is. So you get, so this is actually the most elaborate one. There's five questions and I want you then to answer this when you play reply. Look, somebody answered it already, see that? Whoa, that's a long answer. You don't have to be that long, but if you want to, you can. And then after you've answered those questions, and I'm not, I mean, I'm looking for right answers, obviously, and I'm going to tell you if it's not, and we'll go back and forth a little bit, uh, you can, you know, you can upload it again, and then I'll give you the extra points and stuff. I'm not here to bust your chops and make you nervous, uh, except, of course, maybe a little bit for the test, but we don't have to go overboard on that. Um, so I want you to answer that, and after you answer that, I want you to go and read some other people's and then answer them back. You know, hello, Manuel, I like this or that, of course, be positive. Um, and engaging or you can also ask the group and say like you know i didn't really quite understand that concept could somebody help me understand that and so it's a little back and forth because sometimes the way i explain things is not as is not as as well done as as you explain them amongst each other all right and then that's going to get you some points there when we go then to the what accounts for how much but that's pretty much the assignments of the quizzes, the understanding discussions in the first part of the class, coloring labeling exercises. And then additionally to that, I've made multiple health integration exercises for us. Especially, I was thinking about that before, but especially since COVID and we can't go into the classroom and just you know, look at muscles and bones and all that stuff. I created a bunch of exercises that I use some in my practice also with patients, uh, but then I also just made them for us here, and that's the health the health kit, so to speak. And for example, instead of dissecting a cow eyeball, which we might do, I might have a way of that. I'll share that with you when we get closer to see if that really happens. But instead of dissecting a cow eyeball in class, we're gonna do in a, 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 a vision acuity screening test, for example. Uh, where you look at, you know, letters and you see how your own vision is and you, you sort of functionally understand what we're talking about and uh, versus anatomically. Or in there, I also have actually a, a injury prevention seminar that I give my patients that's orthopedic tests to, to test different muscle groups to see if they're flexible enough or strong enough in order to not give us injuries. And so I have you do some of those things and then you know do some squats and then tell me what muscles you use to do the squats. And so that's an integration of the material, but it's also useful for us in real life because um, ultimately my goal, my agenda with a class like this is to educate uh, all of you guys, so at the end, you can make better healthcare decisions for yourself and your family. That's really my big agenda um, that I come to the table with. And with that, of course, the knowledge gets transferred as well, and you can go on and do nursing or, or chiropractic or massage or whatever you want to do. All right. Any questions so far? No? God, a silence. Then I have to fill it with my big mouth. Um, let's see. And then, of course, we're going to have some tests. And we have three tests. The tests are not cumulative, N O T as in not. Their first test covers chapter introduction, chemistry, cells, and tissues, mostly up through cells. That test is a true false 
and multiple choice test. And then the second, and then you can put that work, that work aside. And then the second test, oh, and the first test covers booklet one. And also, and then the second test is a, a lab test um that's mostly about labeling so basically there let me show that real quick because i'm working with my open class on that right now there i have can you see the pictures i might can you see those pictures of muscles i can see them good thanks yeah if one answers that's great because i don't see your pictures so uh, I, I hands up is, is I, I can't see that. But anyway, that one, I basically go, these are muscles, obviously, as you can tell. These are the arms and then the vertebra and then where's the brain? Here's the skull. So I can ask you and say like, hey, what's this bone called? Uh, and then you write in the answer. Um, and, and I give you a whole list of the terms that I want you to know. I'm not just going to say, hey, anything is fair game. Just exactly what I want you to know. And then you write down the answer from the term list. And uh, my, my tests are open book uh, through COVID. So that's another thing I need you to know. Uh, so, so you don't have to worry about being looked at by the computer and somebody thinks if you're cheating or not. It's like, I, I don't know if I can handle that. Um, I don't know if you can handle that. I took a class and they tried this honor lock system and by, and it's an anatomy class that I take to review stuff and see where, you know, I haven't taught uh, that anatomy class, specific anatomy class for 10 years. Um, and I was freaking nervous after just testing that system. I was like, I don't know, the students will be freaking out. And so I'm glad we don't have to worry about that in this class. Uh, and, and again, that way I make the, the, the test open book um, and we'll, we'll see how that goes. Although the second test is, is the, the people even in the classroom, they are allowed to take the term list with them. Because I find it is very important that we learn how to look for stuff and apply things. And so that's focusing on that a little bit more. And then the, that's the second test. And then the third test is a combination of the first two tests. And um, I have study guides for the tests. Actually, let me, while we're at it, no, let me come back to that. Let me just finish this. Um, and here is the composition of these um, um, different inputs that you give me in scars, the greatest concern. So quiz is 20%, concept discussion 10. So together those are 30%. That's, that's really pure busy work, right? And then the health integration exercises is also busy work. You just do it and try to have some fun with it. Um, that's, you know, I do a posture exercise so we all have to sit straight, um, for example. Um, so that should be some fun and then and then the labeling coloring exercise is 20% of the grade and the test is 30% of the grade, um, all the tests combined. So um, it's it should be okay. And then there's the grading scheme is like everywhere else, 90 plus is A, 80 to 90, 89 is B, 70 to 79 is C and everything else is an, is an F. I hope we don't go there. Accommodations, we make accommodations, just make sure you connect with me and communi com communicate with me, then we're good. And then here's the class schedule. So most of the modules, most of the stuff in the modules, except for the health kit stuff that I give a little more leeway, is, is due on Sunday midnight before the next week. These are soft due dates. So if you don't finish the chemistry by Sunday night, don't sweat it. It's, an, it's, it's, it's where we should to work towards. And so... And so that uh, that way you have a little ability to to you know binge at some point and then be a little bit relaxed at another point, because it is quite a fast semester. I mean, as you see, we have to get pretty fast through week one is all through chemistry, week two is through tissues, and then we already have an exam, um, and and um, and then the exam is open from after the class on Wednesday through Sunday night. And then we go through the skull, the muscles, the muscles and bones. And then we have a second test, which is at the end of April. I know this stuff here, I'd love to talk to you for like hours at a time. But thank God we can't because I'll probably put you asleep. 
Um, and then we, after that, after test two, we go and do the rest of the class and that's a lot of material, but I have a very, very specific study guide. And so what we do at that point is we do the, when we go to Zoom, we basically go through the study guide and we do that anyway already here. We go through the study guide together and we make sure you all understand um, all the details, at least on the study guide, if not everything else as well. Of course, you just ask me those, but I want to make sure you have all that stuff proper. And let me, let me pull up a study guide right now. That way you can see what I'm talking about. This is for the last test. You don't have access to that yet. So don't worry about it except for, except for what, you know, I want to make sure you don't, you, you know what we're dealing with. And so oh, that's not, no, you don't need to see the test. Mm -mm. That's not what I meant to do. We don't need to put the cart in front of the horse here. So you will have, see also under those tests, this is for test three and test two. I also have, it. I have videos where I go through all the terms on a list. So some students, they just watch those videos over and over. And then, and then they, they get, they get the, the, the terminology right. This is, for example, this is the test review for the last test. Can you see that? Yeah. Anybody? Good. So, because sometimes Canvas, I mean, Zoom doesn't let me jump around and you guys still see the same thing. So you got to make sure you tell me uh, if that's the case. So look at that. When we go to the heart, this is basically the stuff I needed to know on the chapter of the heart for the test. This is blood vessels and so forth. So I'm trying to be very specific what I want from you. And that way... I can go through a fair amount of um, uh, material um, and you kind of kick back and try to understand it. And then the review shows you what you need to know for the test. So far, so good? No? So far, good. <laughs> good, thank you. <laughs> I know, I got to be interactive, huh? I know, I know. So yeah, again, just interrupt me anytime you feel like you need to ask a question. So um, so that's the syllabus, so no questions so far. So let me show you, you have this open. Test one is open and I adjusted the date. Some dates, some dates are not all fully appropriate, correct yet. I tried to, but there's a lot of dates to adjust and sometimes I forget something. So if you catch some inact, something that's a little off, just shoot me a text so I can go in and fix it. We need, you know, I need all your help in that as I can have. But in here for test one on top, I have a test review and you don't have that in the material. You got to print that out. I might still have to adjust it a little because it's, I found a few mistakes. Well, a few weird sentences, but we'll get through that. So here, look, when we get through chapter one, introduction, these are the things I wanted to know for the test on this chapter. Here's the chemistry chapter. It seems quite elaborate, but, you know, it goes into quite certain detail. Like it really tells you everything that you need to know sort of in a cliff note perspective. This is actually a great way to get your, your, your flashcard information from that. Uh, for example, if you do flashcards. And so what I would do is I would print this out and have it next to you while you go through the material. Because then you have, you, you listen to the videos, you do the picture books, you do the quizzes, and then you have that for the final, what I ask you, which is then the test. Good? Yeah. Yes. Good, good, good. 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 All right, what else we got? We're moving quite fast. We're not gonna be here too long today. Oh, that's the wrong thing, sorry. Okay, so first week we wanna do introduction chapter and I want you to do the chemistry chapter. So let's make sure I show you all of those. Okay, so the, the chapter always starts, well, actually it starts with this FYI, except for the first chapter, because we don't have an, uh, uh, we haven't done a, a class yet, but it starts with a little description. And on the first one here, I put the video down because some of you didn't get the booklet yet. 
Um, and, and then after that, you can go to next and you can get to the quiz. We already looked at that. And then after you can also then go to next or you can go to modules and click it on, click it from then that perspective. See, so it goes here, introduction, then the questions, then the understanding concepts. And then this has a labeling exercise to it. So in your, in your kit under labeling and coloring exercises, you, you have that in there. And what I want you to do with that, that thing, and actually you can, uh, Crystal, you might be able to pull it up from here until you get the stuff. So you, you can all, there's also a copy here that I put behind on that page and you can click on it and then print it out again if you want. I already and, printed it out. Oh, you already, good yeah. job. <laughs> I like proactive people. Yeah. Um, and on here, it's just on the first chapter, we have all these little, these different, oh, we have different cavities and I want you to label them from the book and color them a little bit. Just basically spend a little bit of time with it. And then we have all these medical terms or these, these anatomical terms. And then these are the regular terms and you match them up. Um, and so you do that. And then here you have to label them. And, and when you finish doing that, you make sure you put your name on and you then upload, um, upload it onto Canvas. How do you upload it? Are we going to like take a picture of the like worksheet and do it that way? Yeah, yeah, you do. I just don't see where. Maybe because I'm not going to show you there because you're not a student. So is oh, because I'm the way? teacher. <laughs> yeah. so just, right. submit and it would give you an option of which format to do it in. There you go. I feel discriminated, huh? I should have that too. Well, um, yeah. So that's then you take a picture of it. With your, ideally, you just take a picture of your phone and put it up. That's the easiest. And then I get it in the background and I can give you a grade. I can give you feedback if needed with that. If you have questions with that, just shoot me a text and we'll walk through it together. So that's basically all, the way that the whole thing uh, works essentially. And then these, some of these chapters have these um, health kit exercises in it. And so um, if you don't have a question, I wanna go through this lifestyle assessment first. And you see the due date, these are March 21st due date. This is not even due till March 11th because it takes us a little longer to do that. And so in the lifestyle assessment, you have that little um, thing. And you know what, Crystal, I'm gonna shoot you an electronic version of that, okay? Did that, everybody else have the material? Yeah, I do. You all do? Okay. All of you have it except for Crystal, right? Or do no, I, speak, I do. Or do I speak up? Uh, so what I, what, what I, when we look at the reason why I do this exercise first, oh, there's a PDF version, Crystal. See that? Yeah, I see it. You can pull that up and it's just basically a big version of the thing. Um, and so what, what, what the reason why I put that up in the beginning is because when we look at, you know, we look at anatomy and physiology, yeah, it's a theoretical topic, but it's really also our body that we're learning about and that we have, you know, this uh, class hopefully gives you a little bit more power over that, uh, not power over the body, that's maybe a wrong side, but understanding of our body and of our mind. Um, and, and, and one thing as we grow older that happens in this culture, but of course everywhere else too, but this culture seems to be a bit excessive on that is we get sickly and illy and not feel so super well and all that. And, and, and they call that term morbidity. And I got that concept from a Wellness Council of America, which is the largest corporate healthcare provider uh, in America. And, and um, it's very, uh, very good. It works with Berkshire Hathaway and, and all those big, important money people thing. Um, and so what can we do through our life to decrease that ability to become morbid? And so what he, in his... Um, um, thing in his speech talks about is like he says the typical the typical american way and hopefully a lot of you guys are not fully 
from here either. Uh, and I have to say it that way because I'm not from America, but I can tell you in Switzerland, it's the same thing. But, you know, somebody in their mid-40s, they drop something to the floor, they pick it up, let's say a towel, after the shower, and something stings in their back and they uh, fall to the ground or whatever. They can't move for a couple of days. And after that, they say, hey, Johnny, I can't bend anymore. Can you pick up my towel? for me. And so they become a little bit less able to do certain things. And as we know, that is one of the worst things we can do because it's it's called a fear avoidance belief, meaning if you do something again, it hurts again and then, you know, you have that whole thing. So therefore you just don't do it anymore. And that medically speaking is actually one of the worst things. Uh, I'm a chiropractor and body worker and if I get a patient with pain and I study, I give him a I give him a, a survey that studies that fear avoidance belief, if that number is high, I can tell them to go home. I can't help them. I mean, I don't do that, but the, the data shows that they're always going to be sickly. I can't help them really uh, to get better because they're not fully able to help themselves. And what I wanted to do with this handout is I, or with this exercise, I want us to learn things or go through things that we can influence about our health how many times have you heard as somebody says oh it's my genetics i can't do anything i'm just meant to do and that's fine there's nothing necessarily wrong with that but i would say it's not quite accurate because a lot of things we can influence in our health and again i'm not just interested in you know i'm not interested in oh everybody needs to be 150 years old it's about the quality of our life right now and when we look at what we can influence uh, ourselves, we look at three things mainly. That's a physical influence. We can chemically influence our health and we can emotionally influence our health. And what I've done, and don't worry, I haven't, I've done this myself, but I've, I've, I've copied a lot of this stuff from other people. But what I've done is I've, I've, I've looked at seven things that are sort of falling into that category. So structural uh, chemical or functional i mean or emotional and 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 i want you guys to go through oh in your in your handout hold on in your handout if you take the handout in there is a little card you see that little card is all hand folded by me that little card has on the front page you have all these numbers on it and on the back page you also have all these numbers and in the inside, there's a bunch of lines and, and also numbers, one through five, three times. And so what I want you to do, I want you to go in your own self time, whenever you feel like it, you go through these seven things. So you look and read this, but structure, effects, function. Okay. If somebody sits really crooked and have bad posture, they've actually found there was this ortho, this heart surgeon in Boston and I have studies on him, and he found out that if he, if he opens people's chest up to give them heart surgery, and they're laying there crooked, and their neck is all crooked, their blood supply is not as efficient as if they're straight sitting or straight laying in bed. And so he made a whole career out of that understanding. And so structure affects function uh, pretty heavily. So I want you to do that. I want you to go read that, and then Answer these, ask these questions. Are your shoulders round and forward? Are you slouching? How does your head feel on the body and so forth? And then rate yourself as in a one through 10, one meaning I am doing a crappy job and 10 meaning I'm actually doing great. It's a self-rating. You can totally cheat yourself, but it's not, it's not the point, right? Um, and so you grade yourself on that. Then you talk, we talk about food, your eating, as well as drinking, uh, Water, liquid is also, oh, I should drink some water, is also very important. Then digestion. How is your digestion? If you eat something crappy, do you, you know, is your body going to rebel at you or are you doing okay? If you eat, like, let's say you eat some bad, bad fat, are you like in bed afterwards with a stomach ache or is your body able to handle it? Not that you should just eat bad crap, but it does say something how flexible your digestion is at that time. Um, water is cool oh and then i also what i did on the pamphlet i put these barcodes up as you can tell i love barcodes when i first started with barcodes i was like one of the first ones and in school i'm probably still one of the first ones they all thought i was like brilliant and i said yeah i just bought a carton of milk and i looked at the box <laughs> it's like right there um but this here if you like to cook this is a 130 whatever page cookbook on pdf so it's really good stuff so make sure you you know, if you feel like it, you can utilize some of that. 
So digestion, we go through, we go through hormones. How does that feel? How your glands feel? And you self-rate yourself. And then exercise. How much exercise do you do? Of course, that's always one. And then stress. How is your stress level? And how you manage stress. Stress and stress management is two different things, right? Um, they say that, 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 that stress is actually very positive for longevity and feeling well. But it depends how you take the stress. If you can sort of take it and deal with it and it doesn't stress you out, then that's cool. If it stresses you out, then you're having a problem with that and, and it, it puts extra pressure on your, on your systems. Um, probably the brain and the cardiovascular system for sure, and the hormonal system too. And then the, the thoughts is another important thing is how do you talk to yourself? Do you bitch yourself out all day long or are you kind of kind with yourself? That's very, very important. And you don't need to share, well, you do need to share the card with me, but I'm not going to look at your score, your self score. The only thing I look at is your initial score and your end score, see if there is a change, if I look at it at all um, from that perspective. But I, I, I look at, you know, what you do with it. And so from there, after that um, uh, self-evaluation, what I wanted to do is I wanted to read or listen and read, this is a nice little podcast, The Science of Habits, The Science of Change. Um, and I want you to, I think there's a page for that. Yeah, see, I want you to write down for each one of them, what could you do to, to make it a little better for yourself? You know, oh, I could drink more water because I've not been good at that. Or which who, who is, right? Or, or I maybe I should take a walk. Or maybe I should meditate. Uh, or stuff like that. Or when I, next time I'll be really cursing myself because I did something stupid, like kicked my foot somewhere and I hurt. And I go back and go like, wait a minute, let's have some self-compassion maybe because, you know, shit happens. Um, stuff like that. And so I want you to reflect a little bit there. And then I want you to take one of your habit, one of those things that you could do. And this can be adding something or getting rid of something like in nutrition, you know, some of us could say, Hey, let me drink less alcohol or less coffee or, or, or so, or, or, or yeah, let's not slouch as much. So I, I can do things to add, but also things to take away. Um, and as you know, some of that is not that easy. And um, then I want you to work your way through that one habit, because what is important to understand with habits is the fact that we have a reminder, like, oh, the, the morning comes, you want a cup of coffee, that's a reminder, or it smells like coffee, that's a reminder. And then we do the routine, and that will be drinking the coffee. And then afterwards, we feel nice and refreshed and before we feel jittery and that's a reward and the body wants the reward we crave the reward and so with the kid this is actually the habit loop for the kid modern family so when the kid needs to do some homework you can have an alarm clock that rings up and it's like okay now we got to sit down and then you're done with your routine johnny you can watch a, a little tv or play some video games and then that would be the reward and before we know it the kid has an easier time engaging in the routine by doing so they have shown that if you want to increase your exercise uh, regimen, the best thing you can apparently do, if you like chocolate, you eat a piece of chocolate after you do your workout, if you really like chocolate. And the body remembers that, and it's easier, they've shown, to get back into the routine. So that's kind of interesting. At least I found it interesting. So there's a good reason why, do, of course, it's got to be Swiss chocolate, I think, right? Um, and so I want you to go through a habit and say, why do I crave a habit? What's my reward of that habit? The coffee is, yeah, I feel more engaged. Maybe it's because I have a social engagement with it. Maybe I have coffee with a friend and the talking is nice. And, the, you know, and so I can sort of understand why I'm doing something. And then the other thing is what triggers my habit? Like, you know, the smell of the coffee triggers it. What is the cue for me to do it? And I want you to be a real reflective of that one habit and see if you can make an influence and change something a little bit or add something a little bit to your, to your routine. But you don't have to do it at the end. You just have to do the exercise for this because there is some habits that are known as keystone habits, like things that make us, they have multiple positive effects when we do them. For example, family dinners have shown to make, raise kids, 
that are, you know, better with homework, with better grades, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, which is very interesting. Or a good one that many of us can probably do is make your bed. That is correlated with more in productivity, job satisfactions, and so forth. It's very interesting to me. We all know about exercise. Food journaling is another one. We actually have an exercise where we do food journaling and food journaling just for one week. So you don't go overboard. But food journaling is not just writing down what you eat, how many calories. It's more like what is your mindset when you eat? We write down what we eat, but also with whom and what is our emotional connection and what is, uh, are we feeling well or, or what is our environment? I'm eating in the car, you know, while I'm racing to work and, you know, and then I have a stomach ache. Uh, that's very different from sitting down with friends and having a pizza or, or, or something. And it doesn't necessarily even re- matter of what the food is. Uh, the environment has a lot to do how our body can take the food. So that's there a little bit. Daily routines, of course. Morning meditation is important and good. I, I guess it's important. It's really hard for me sometimes to do that. So, but what I want us to do as an exercise, I want us to sort of do a little groupy thing. Uh, And I want each of you guys to choose one of three things, either drink two quarts of water a day, walk 30 minutes a day, or meditate 10 minutes a day. And you do that for five days a week over three weeks. And each time you do it, you do it, you send a text out. And we're going to make texting groups of like five people or so. I create that random in the background. So that way we don't get a gazillion texts uh, from each other. But each time when, when, when you walk, you come home from walking. No, the, the drinking is better. You, you, you finish your two quarts of drinking and you go to bed. And the next morning you realize you were peeing all night long. And so you write down, I finished my water. I felt like blah, 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 whatever it is. I had to pee all night long. Or you meditate and you feel more relaxed afterwards. Uh, or you can take, uh, let's say with meditation, a lot of times it's like the same stress or that stressed us out before after focusing on a breath for 10 minutes or so, that stress is much less effective. It's much less bothersome. And so then you can write that in a, in a text. Nothing fancy, just like, you know, a couple sentences. And you write that to the group uh, each time you do it. And that way, uh, we all get some reminders to do this thing a little. And we do it for a few weeks. And um, after about three weeks, we're all sick and tired of doing that. And then we stop doing it. But it helps us enhance success. And what I found with this class doing it like that in previous semesters, it seems to be liked by probably about two-thirds of the class because they... Uh, there is an ability to create some habits or try some things that we haven't tried before in a sort of a group setting. And it's, 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 it's correlated with, with, with our anatomy class through the fact that, you know, we want to learn about health and that's the core of um, this class. Well, get you into nursing school too, but my booklets, by the way, they have been used by people getting into nursing school, by people getting into medical school, even and uh, by people f- studying for the massage exam, which I'm not sure how hard that is, but still that felt pretty good because I'm a massage therapist, so I like that. Good. Any questions at this point? No. Yes. I don't have any questions at this moment. Any comments? Um, no, the class seems really organized and it doesn't seem as bad as some people may think it would be. Well, you know, that, thank you. (laughs) I appreciate that because it is definitely one of those topics that can be grueling, but we want to make it as little grueling as possible. Um, or actually I'd like to make it fun. Um, so yeah, so, and what you do, actually, I didn't tell you that on this card, So the first thing is you fill that out and here's all the numbers for all these seven things that you grade yourself. And then you count the numbers, that's your initial score. And then for the three weeks, you write down one through five, three times, that's three weeks. You write down the routine you're doing on top and then, you know, I did it, it felt like this. And you just give yourself a brief reflection 
on it. And then at the end of the three weeks, you take the picture, the front and the back and upload it. And that's basically your, your score. And I mean, a lot of that is honor principle is honor concept. And I, you know, I, I, um, I hope you're doing it good. Where, um, where did you say that that card was like, where, where did you say it was supposed to be at? Inside the thing. Inside. In the last page. I put it in the last page of the, on your okay. physical. I gave you and your brother one of these each, right? I think so. I'm not sure. He's not here and he has this stuff in his room, but. Um, oh, you, you guys got two, you got, you, you, you got one set of the booklets, but then two sets of the rest of the Yeah, two sets of each of those, yeah. Right, and it's, it's the first handout in the health kit. In the health kit? Okay. And in the last page, it should be there. Okay, found it. Oh, super. Thank and you. And otherwise... Oh, somebody, that's a wrong group chat. Um, if you if you if you need to print it again, uh, it's also here. It's just I think I put four on one page or something because I um, because I I caught them. But you can print that out there and tweet there if somebody loses it or something like that. See, like that. so that that I do some of those like that. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Absolutely. Now let's see, uh, we did the assessment, we showed the test review. I explained you how the course works. We went through the syllabus. And I, I think then that's that's all we I have on my agenda, actually. We're doing pretty early here. But that's okay. That gives you more time to go through the videos and stuff. Um, are you you cool? Yeah. Yeah? Good. All right. Then at the end, what I do is I take roll again and I just want to have you give me a live site either on the video hello or a, a, a verbal real quick because I have some students and then I mean some patients and they're 20 and then they tell me, oh, I've been gone to Hawaii and just have my Zoom on and the teacher don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I figured, you know, if I do it, I might as well do it right. Again, you're not punished if you can't make it. I record the videos. The zooms but of course i think it's it's more helpful to be interactive and um, for you your job is to ask questions either in the class or offline also do not be shy i have a question and, yes okay so for this thingy mm -hmm. for, um so what do we so i watched the ex, um the lecture but i'm trying i'm wondering what do we have in the models that could help us through this Oh, you know, um, look, open your email, what I sent you. Okay. I, I sent you a PDF. Stay on the call at the end moment for a moment since you haven't gotten it. Well, I want to make sure you got all that. Okay. And so then it, I, we'll make sure you get the chemistry also before we hang up. Okay. Okay. Good. Anybody else? Good. So that was Crystal. I got you. I got Natalie. Rios. I got Manuel. Right here. Hello, nice to have you in. I got um, Wong. What, what's your first name? Keith. Say that again. Keith. Keith? Yeah. Okay. I try to remember that because I don't, the screen name is just Keith K. Wong. <laughs> I'll get it. And then I got Hannah, right? Hannah? You still there? Yes, I'm here. <laughs> okay, good. So that that's concluding what I have to say today. Um, and with that, I wish you a wonderful afternoon. And again, if you have other questions, stay on the call. Have a good Thank day. you. Have a good day. You too. Bye. Be in touch with me. All right. Did you get that? Let me see. I'm checking right now. All right. Check right now.